In this problem, we're given that we know the equilibrium constant for the first reaction. We've called that K1. It's equal to 6.4, and we want to know the equilibrium constant for the second reaction. And the difference between these two reactions is that one case water is a liquid, in the other case water is a gas. So when we calculate equilibrium constant from delta G of reaction, we're going to end up using delta G of formation, which means in the first reaction we use delta G of formation for liquid, and the second one delta G of formation for the vapor. Those are different values. And so let's look at how we might do this calculation. So for the first reaction, equilibrium constant would be the activity of the product, or the activity of R, activity of water. Of course, activity is a ratio of fugacity, so product P is a gas, so it would be fugacity of P divided by fugacity, and let me write it first this way, fugacity of P at standard conditions, which in this case would be ideal gas at one bar, and then Fugacity of R divided by fugacity of R, standard conditions, again, one bar, pure material. And then the fugacity of water divided by fugacity of water, standard conditions, as a liquid. Well, fugacity of P for ideal gas at one bar for a pure component, denominator, this becomes one bar. Fugacity ratio for R, since R is a solid, change in the pressure really doesn't change fugacity significantly. So this ratio is going to be 1. And then we have the fugacity of water at equilibrium, of course. And the fugacity of water is a liquid, 150 degrees C. Fugacity is going to be the saturation pressure of the liquid. So since it's in denominator, in denominator of the denominator, that means going up in the numerator, it's be the saturation pressure of water at 150 degrees. Let me rewrite then down here that this is fugacity fugacity of water and it's understood this one bar pressure won't carry it through remember the equilibrium constant is dimensionless I can look up the saturation pressure of water at 150 degrees C it's 4.76 bar and so this is equal then to 6.4 which means that gassy of P or fugacity of water is 6.4 over 4.76. And so that's equal to 1.34. Now for the second reaction, you can write the equilibrium constant again in terms of ratio of fugacities. And gassy of P and reactant solid the same. Gassy of water the same. The only difference is our reference state condition we use to calculate delta G is now a gas. Ideal gas at one bar, pure gas. So it's fugacity is one bar. So K2 then is equal to fugacity of P over fugacity of water, which we calculate it as 1.34. So that means up here K2 is indeed different from K1 is equal to 1.34. Now, of course, this doesn't mean equilibrium is different. It just means when we use a different value for delta G calculation, we also have to use a different value for this fugacity, our reference in this case, a gas at ideal gas conditions, one bar pressure.